John, you've just announced Q3 results. <laughs> hey, I thought they were outstanding. Where to start? Yeah, no, things are going great for your energy right now. We are moving forward uh, with drilling and construction at Lost Creek and putting ourselves in a position to ramp up production uh, as we layer in additional contracts. So very exciting times out at the mine site. And speaking of that, let's hit investors where they're always most interested, your financial results. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a very strong cash position right now, uh, $37 million in the bank at the quarter. And uh, that's a great place to start or ramp up at Lost Creek. But, but beyond that, we've got a fantastic inventory of 324,000 pounds that we can convert into cash within one or two weeks. Uh, if and when we need that cash, $16.5 million additional uh, beyond that. So we're in a great position right now. Our shares are trading really well, very liquid. So we're, we are in a great position. So let's talk about your operations in general and the actual projects. Where do you want to start? Yeah, you bet. So we're continuing to drill. Uh, that's going really well. Got some good drill rigs on site. Uh, we've completed uh, the installation of wells in header house 24 that is done the wells are tested ready to go and we're also working on uh, constructing out the header house in 24 and so that's been, uh, very good progress there and we're very aware of supply chain issues we've encountered a few hiccups there but the great thing about lost creek is we have so much material and inventory from previous mine units that we simply move it forward so great shape Construction, drilling is going really well at this point and uh, very excited to continue that to shorten our ramp up period. And in addition to that, you've just rolled out some exciting technology news. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. And, and the, this is really near and dear to my heart and the company's heart. I, we're recognized as a leader in research and development in our industry here in the US. Uh, very often in the past, we've come up with new technologies uh, we get those implemented, we test them, and then our competitors follow suit. So we kind of lead the way. But we've developed a new well installation technology. We've got it patented, and we just con concluded phase one testing that went incredibly well. We're looking at a massive reduction in drill rig time, a uh, massive reduction in emissions, and also a massive reduction in cost to install the, those wells. We're now moving on to phase two testing. And we're excited to continue that. And uh, we'll be reporting more to the public on that in the coming months. For anyone interested in finding out more, please go to their website. You have had a number of significant pieces of news, including some management uh, changes. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and what we should anticipate in this next quarter? Yeah, absolutely. So we were very pleased to, to take Steve Hatton, who was our VP of operations, and promoted him to chief operations officer or COO. Uh, Steve has been with us for a number of years, I think about 15 years now, and he's been in the uranium space for pushing 30 years. So uh, he's well known throughout the industry, well known entity, uh, brings tremendous uh, expertise to your energy. And so we were very pleased to put him into that position uh, so he can manage both Lost Creek and Shirley Basin as we begin to move both of those toward ramping up production. Well, thank you for the update, John. As always, a pleasure. All right, thank you, Tracy.